Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I will be doing a reading for the 29th to the 31st of May for you all. So hopefully it resonates. Please keep in mind that if you guys would like a uh, reading done, a personal, then be sure to reach out to me via email so that we can set that up for you. Also, this will be a general message. However, if it does resonate, please join me in subscribing, liking, sharing and just spreading a lot of positive energy all right so let's see what's going on for you within the next few days for me what is it that the virgos need to know currently thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers and remaining subscribers that have been here throughout this journey. I really do appreciate you guys. My last reading, I've been getting a lot of um, positive feedback through your likes, your subscribes, and your comments. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see what we have here for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. So we have cornucopia. So there are some happy times coming up for you. The number 11 could be something significant. Some of you could have been out of alignment with yourself in regards to what truly makes you happy or something that is not in alignment for you. But it's like whatever is coming is coming in with a, a, a sweet energy, okay? Some of you here could have had trouble walking away from a connection If you guys haven't already watched my other video where I just did one in regards to you being in separation from your person, uh, go ahead and watch that. It's very informative. What else for Virgo? May 29th to the 31st for Virgo. Okay. So it looks like Someone is jealous because you're working hard with the number 42. Four plus two is six. So um, I'm getting here that someone that is instable financially is jealous because you're in the spot that they want to be in. Okay? That's something you don't know. Someone's not happy, genuinely happy for you for all the heights that you've reached. Okay? Or well, you could have some jealous friends here. Yeah, look at that. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. There is envy around you, okay? A lot of envy because you're you're starting to see things for what they are. 2020 vision, perfect vision, okay? All right, Virgo. I see that it's going to get lonely at the top. I already told you this. gonna get lonely at the top okay so we have an unhealthy attachment some of you may feel like you're still attached to this person that may have brought you out of a out of uh, out of line out of alignment with yourself second chakra Archangel Ariel so you need to heal from whatever uh, attachment you have from this person I do see that some of you could be emotional here some of you could be missing this person or what you've had with this person or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. Spirit is telling me to reach for some channeled messages. So I'm going to listen. Look, karmic soulmate is at the bottom of the deck, even before I start shuffling. So, yeah. This person may be getting out of a... Uh, a uh, situation with someone okay so leading it's not just sex for me but this person doesn't know what to do okay when it comes to you this person feels like you are someone that does it for them and they never expected that okay we have monogamous relationship Someone could be envious that you're not only reaching higher heights in your financial career situation, but 
you are also in some type of monogamous relationship or some of you are coming into this energy here someone here is taking themselves out of the equation or omitting themselves because they don't think they have a shot married marriage someone that you are in a situation or out of uh, a relationship with could be married okay for some of you you could have been married to someone that you're still attached to okay this person daydreams about you but no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper someone's now making the decision to choose you even if that means not listening to an opinionated outsider because you're perfectly imperfect for this person, but this person doesn't really know how to be in a relationship. So that's why they settle for friends with benefits. Okay. This person is just used to, you know, detaching themselves and just entering a connection just for sex because they don't know how to be in a relationship. You know what song I'm hearing? Teach Me How to Love by Music Soul Child. I love that song. You guys need to You guys need to go and look that up. It's music with a Q. M U S I Q Soul Child. All right. So, I'm going to get some of these cards. I should have took them out earlier, but I was too pumped up for this read. So let's see what spirit wants to let us know here. For Virgo, May 29 to the 31st. We have basket and that's so funny that cornucopia and basket came out under the same uh, first line here. It says recognition, reward for merit hard work ahead so because of your hard work virgo in your career you're going to reap rewards okay okay so we have quill and this says get back to the basics we have younger woman so dealings or relationship with a younger woman i did go ahead and do a bulletin note on my channel i don't know if you guys have uh, seen it yet but for those of you that are new here i do have uh, i do update my bulletin every time i feel like it's absolutely necessary so that you guys are still connected with me even if i don't do a video and it seems like there's someone that's dealing with a cancer uh, uh, not cancer but pisces here that is dealing with a they're dealing with a younger woman okay so that's the energy I got and it's so weird that it's coming out here okay so we have Valley and Valley says personal deep personal strength and peace that assure a success so I'm getting here that even if there is an unhealthy attachment to someone that you could have been married to or is in some type of committed relationship, I feel like whatever uh, weakness you are feeling or attachment that allows you to be in this person's energy, this is going to bring you out into a place of strength and peace that brings success towards you. Okay, look at that. The overall energy for that valley card is mountain road you are on the road to success okay all right so let's see what else is coming out for you for virgo so we have lily it says spiritual love romance is in the air so you could be coming into some type of romantic endeavor but just remember that staying in indoors and not being able to mingle with other people, you won't be able to have that opportunity because you're not applying yourself, all right? Okay, so we have a fair man and dragon here. It says dealings 
or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. It says beware of self-delusion. Dog barking, okay? Advice from a friend. So this fair man could be someone that could be giving you advice on something, all right? This person could be of a older generation, more experienced here. What else for Virgo, please? May 29th to the 31st. We have a broken ring. It says parting of ways, parting of the ways in either romance or business. Yeah, we have a two-faced friend here. Okay, we we also not only have woman holding a coin in reverse, which is like the queen of pentacles in reverse and envy, but it seems that you may be parting ways or a business deal or a romantic situation because of a two-faced friend here this is not the first time we've seen that i mean i'm going through it right now where you know there are people that can't have what you have or want you in the way that they want you and they want to try to sabotage you so you got to get rid of them okay your bonus card is bouquet, compliments from an admirer. So you're gonna have someone that is interested in you that will be complimenting you. We have camel. It says persevere and you will overcome problems. So be rest assured that you have your spiritual ancestors with you, okay? And they are embracing spiritual love with you. So there is no need to worry in that sense here. Someone won't be able to take care of a child because they're either diagnosed with cancer or terminally ill. Someone could also be a cancer or has a child that is a cancer. I'm also seeing that you have your attitude on 10. So someone here is going to try to piss you off. Don't let people get to you. That's what they want to do is get a rise out of you. Okay. Okay, so Spirit says ride the wave. Just chill. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Some of you are going to be watching some type of show or um, doing this while you're PMSing here. Someone may be having cramps, emotional so some of you may be having to dial back and um, focus more on your expenses and where money is going here. You're going to be penny pinching. Someone could be thinking about having um, a breast augmentation or a BBL or making an appointment to do so. This could be taking place in the winter time. We have acts of kindness. So some of you are going to be giving back to others or some of you need to do this. This brings back laws of karma. When you do good things, you get them back. But having great intentions with that as well. Okay. We also have someone has been, someone has seen their mom or dad cheat on one another. And that's why they are now a cheater because it's in their bloodline. Okay. We have lottery winner. So some of you may be um, buying scratch tickets, Lotto 649, or admit, having some type of admission with money, playing bingo or whatever, and will be a winner here. We have new love interest as well. So I'm also seeing that someone's going to be entering your life here. And with this bouquet, it looks like they're gonna give you some type of token of uh, gratitude. We have new apartment. So some of you here are going to be moving as well. Congratulations. We have 555 transformation, welcoming new beginnings. So that's amazing energy. I'm getting here that you guys are gonna be starting over fresh. You're not gonna be worried about anybody else but yourselves, okay? A lot of you are gonna be getting paid here this winter and like i told you guys in a couple readings ago that the color red and something about 
Christmas time, you're gonna be making dough, making money, okay? You guys are gonna be doing big things this, this Christmas. It's gonna be a really good Christmas this Christmas. We have a bad offer. So I feel like there's another storyline that's correlating with this. I feel like someone is trying to do good or do well in order for you to take them on. But this could be a bad offer here. We have inheritance. So I'm seeing here that someone that was a cheater died a cheater and now you're inheriting or getting some type of money, there's a death in the family, or there's some type of document or will uh, saying what you're owed, okay? But something is gonna set you off because you're annoyed, but you know, there's a situation here that's priceless, okay? So lots of details and information so far. I'm gonna put these all to the side here just to get some more room so I can work. Someone could be listening to Rihanna. I don't know why that's coming into my head. She just had a baby, a baby boy. So congrats and shout outs to her. All right, so what am I gonna be getting into spirit? I'm gonna reach out for some majestic messages. Majestic messages for Virgo, May 29th to the 31st, please. So the first one here is late night phone calls video, okay? Someone feels like during a late night phone call or video call that you may be passing judgment on them about something that they're going to bring up here. Someone's afraid you might take things wrong. Some of you are practicing celibacy. I just spoke on this yesterday. It's so funny that this is coming out here, but it feels good, Virgos. I feel like you're taking a step to hold on to your temple and appreciating and focusing on yourself and cutting off people that no longer serve you, okay? Some of you are not giving anyone your energy you're you're being picky when it comes to people having your energy here okay so there's a club rat or a night owl that may be coming into a a situation for themselves but they're being quiet about it there's a club rat or a night owl that had a flood or house fire what's this flood or house fire in reverse they're coming out of a tough situation of losing their home. They're in a same-sex relationship that they've been craving. Or they're into the same sex. Take it as it resonates. Reverse to roles. I'm hearing that the karmic person that they're currently married to or with, they have uh, proof of some type of same-sex relationship or um, obsession with being with the experience of the same sex here. Yeah, this person feels like you're going to tag team them and cut them off. Okay. And this is what this person's afraid of that whatever secret that they're holding from you and whom they're getting involved with that you're going to judge them. So they're in the closet right now. That's what it seems like. Let's see what other messages come out here. Now my tea is cold. Or my coffee. Okay, so we have stamp of approval. Some of you could have got a, a stamp of approval that you don't have an STD. Okay, you guys uh, may have got checked or thinking about getting a check. You're going to be all good and in the clear here. All right, 
we have violation intrusive. You're not allowing anyone to come in and violate you, okay? Some of you have some things that you need to work out here. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Yeah, you guys are turning your back on a cancer. Okay, so we have Aries. Aries is significant in the story. Some of you could be attached also to an Aries or an Aries feels like you're too bougie for them. Also an Aquarius is showing up at the bottom of the deck. What else for Virgo? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, and North Node. So we have drug addiction, drug dealer. Uh, I'm getting here that whoever this is, this person could have blocked you or you blocked them here. We have health is wealth. So health is wealth and someone is definitely invested in this relationship. This could be a Pisces here. So there's a Pisces that's serious about you or wants some type of monogamous relationship here. What else for Virgo? May 29th to the 31st for Virgo. All right, Virgo. So it looks like you're too legit to quit here. You're too legit to quit and someone is falling for you and that scares them or vice versa. You could be falling for someone and that scares you, okay? Someone may be getting kicked out of a home and that's gonna start some type of argument, fight, or disagreement. All right, for those, there's a lot going on in the next few days. for Virgo May 29th to the 31st someone wants to fix things with you someone realizes that they sabotage the connection and they want to fix things with you this person could be someone that you broke up with but you may not be given this person the opportunity to do this okay you'd rather uh, discover other options here We have abundance, so a lot of manifestation energy, and I feel like whatever it is that you're manifesting, and I think that in this case, it could be money, prosperity, happiness, good health, it, it's happening for you, okay? I'm hearing something about someone going through highs and lows, and it doesn't have to be with emotion, it could be with like money, okay? We have mirror, so you could be mirroring this person's energy. So not necessarily you feeling, um, having an energy of feeling how you're feeling, but it's this person projecting their energy onto you because there is still that attachment. And it's so funny that this is coming out and I really don't like, you know, discussing my personal life, but I will give you guys some tidbit information. So, you know, keep it on the hush hush. So yesterday I was at work and um, I just started crying. I was like in this most, I don't know what it was. It was kind of like, I was already feeling tired and you know, wanting to just relax and you know, chill, but at the same time, I felt this overwhelming energy of sadness and I didn't know why, okay? But, you know, whatever, let's get over that. But whoever this is that's mirroring or that you're mirroring here, they could want to date or there's a new person that wants to date here. We also have the coffin. So this dating or some type of date or someone wanting to date, this is the new beginning to everything, but there's gonna be some type of shocking news that someone could be watching, okay? Let's go ahead and 
get some cards here. I'm gonna push this all the way up. Let's see what else is going on for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know at this time? This person is not confident in themselves that they can get you back here, Page of uh, Cups. There could have been a lack of uh, communication or someone is withholding messaging you and needing to, needing to come into a place of strength. Leo could be significant to this here, okay? Or there could be a cancer that they're involved with that's stopping this person from communicating with you. What else for Virgo? So we have the three, not a three, it says the Empress card. So there is a low vibrational woman or a man here, or there's someone that um, may not be receiving something. We have the Hierophant. Someone doesn't believe that they have a chance with you. That's what it is. Or you may not be believing that you deserve something. There's a song called Deserve Better by Megan Trainer. That is one of my favorite songs. If you haven't if you haven't listened to it, then go ahead and do so. Also do a Lipa. I forgot the name of her song. But the lyrics are don't show up, don't come out, don't start. How does it go? Don't show up. Don't come out. Don't stop. I forgot how it goes. If you don't want to see me dancing with somebody, something like that. That's by Dua Lipa. I can't, re I can't remember the name of the song. Okay, what's this Empress in reverse? Someone doesn't feel worthy because they've lost you. Okay, or you lost them. The uh, Ace of Pentacles, I'm seeing that there will be another opportunity or you needing to be practical about opportunities here because it will be victorious for you here, Virgo. That's what I'm seeing here. The other thing for you, Virgos, I'm getting strongly is that you need to believe that just because something happened or didn't work out for you doesn't mean that it won't. Okay? That is a lesson learned what to watch out for. That's how I feel about karmic situations or karmic relationships here. What else for Virgo? Okay, so we have the two of uh, two of cups and we have the high priestess. tells me here someone's picking up bad information from a tarot reader or believing something that may not even be their situation okay we have the two of pentacles they may be picking up some type of um, bad information from a fake tarot reader. And it's also um, some type of uh, spell work that's going on with a tarot reader that they could have got readings from. And instead of uh, the tarot reader making them move on without you, it's bringing them closer towards you. Or this could be a new... Uh, partnership that's coming in for you. Take it as it resonates, reverse the rules, okay? This is a deep reading here. Very deep. All right. So I am torn on what to use, but I'm going to go with this one here. 
what's coming for Virgo? What should Virgo expect for the next few days? Okay, so we have the tower. Some of you are coming to, into your highest self. A lot of you are relying on faith and hope that things are going to work out. I'm getting here when it comes to work, you, uh, your, your energy is low, so keep that high. Someone here uh, feels like you're not giving your best. It's like something has interrupted your energy to maintain that Eight of Pentacles energy, but you are the emperor, okay? Someone is also talking about you because your left, my left ear is ringing here. I've been feeling that since yesterday afternoon, actually around like four. So um, keep that in mind, you guys. Someone could have their name, your name in their mouth. Yeah. What else for Virgo? May 29th to the 31st. And it looks like there's two different people that are talking about you. We have the Eight of Wands. Whatever this is, someone's either slowing themselves down to come towards you to tell you how they feel about you. Um, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Eight of Wands here. What's this Eight of Wands? in terms of how they're feeling and what they're hiding from you. Yeah. Someone doubts that you'll believe them even if they come to you with how they feel. You you won't believe them or there's some type of uh, situation in regards to um, an injustice happening. Someone is thinking too much about the past here. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, they're indulging in themselves. Just hiding out. Just keeping everything that they feel to themselves and in their head. We have the Death card. So this person that's in this attachment energy or wanting to still be in your energy, they want a rebirth because we have the Death in reverse. So that's a rebirth here. Yeah, but there's a lot of conflict and things happening for them. So they'd rather message you or they're going to start off with some type of message here. Is going to be some type of communication. What's this death card in reverse, please, for Virgo? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so someone is looking very single, focusing on their job, maintaining themselves health-wise. And just living their best life. Someone here is in this emperor energy. So I'm getting like puffed up shoulders and, you know, strutting their stuff and walking like they're the big dog. Okay, or someone sees you as the emperor. With the four of wands here, someone wants to come into a home life situation with you. But um, they find themselves holding back a lot when it comes to the chariot. Or uh, something could be wrong with a car or someone not being able to come towards you they could be at a distance from you here yeah someone lacks hope that this will happen but this is something that they they fantasize about a lot yeah there's some type of good news coming in but there's a lack of effort here or this person could have been someone that had a lack of effort the good news is that something is closing out whether this be about career person Person-wise, um, relationship, six of wands, someone doesn't feel confident, someone has a lot of ego and pride when it comes to putting in effort. I'm getting here that whoever this may be or whoever this applies to, someone's afraid that if they give too much effort and don't get the same back or um, they feel like it's going to be all for nothing here. Someone's very uh, negative or has a negative outlook, two of pentacles. There's a lot of chaos and um, lack of opportunity, gossip. Um, someone's getting into someone else's head here. That's the energy I'm getting. We have the queen of pentacles. There's a lot of jealousy. Someone's getting into someone else's head about not being with you or not taking a opportunity to be with you so they're confused and making their own choices but someone's gonna learn one way or another that they're gonna need to move on 
from the people that are trying to block them from their blessings or for you, if this is for you, Virgo. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone slowly but surely, Knight of Pentacles energy, going to see that you are their person, Virgo. Wow. Yeah, someone's not happy where they're at, okay? And that's why they hold back. All right, so that's what I have here for your messages. Hopefully it resonates. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.